So, we're back. We are getting started on disassembling those, uh, the rotating assembly. The cylinders all look great, so uh, we'll focus on that later. For now, I wanna get started removing all these nasty C-clips, taking off all the OEM pistons. We're gonna reuse these non vanos rods. I'll just make sure they're balanced. And then we will go ahead and balance the new pistons from the bottom. And once they're all good to go, we will assemble everything. So let me see if I can get this turn to start. There it goes. Weisco. These ones have a factory ring height. So a lot of times people say you can get a wear ridge right here that you can feel with your fingernail. If you can feel that wear ridge, you can't run these on an 84 mil. You have to bore over because that wear ridge will burn up your new rings hitting it or just kind of coming in contact with it. Mine doesn't have a wearage, but I am an M52 block, which will have like a few thousandths of wear at the top there. So there's a chance I might have a little bit of oil consumption or something like that. Uh, it's a race car. It won't see 5,000 miles between oil changes. It'll see five of <laughs> two events, you know? So the tiniest bit of oil consumption for me, that's fine. Uh, that's why I'm able to run these on an 84 mil board doing it myself is because I don't have a wear ridge. It's time to scale these. What we're gonna do is break this out, measure every one of the packs of the rings, make sure they're all within spec of each other. And if that's the case, we can set them aside and then we'll move forward measuring all of our pistons, write them down, we'll measure all of our wrist pins. We will match the heaviest wrist pin to the lightest piston. I'll show you as we do it. And then we'll move forward, figuring out how much we need to grind off of these pistons. I'll just turn it up a little, 20.18. So far, my first two sets of rings were uh, 20.18. They both were. So I'm going through and I'm measuring every ring in his, or all my ring sets. And if they all match out, then I'm not going to weigh the pistons with them. Now, when we're going to grind off of these, the whole idea is that we're going to take away material where it is the strongest. So in my assumption, that would be chamfering this edge and this edge and these edges and then possibly chamfering maybe this edge here. Never do the flat, that'll weaken it. Four, eight, so that's getting close. I think we're gonna call 0.03 of a gram good uh, for this one and keep on going. And so that's going to be how we balance these. I think two of them really needed edging, otherwise just swapping wrist pins around and everything really got us lined up. We're 0 0.38, 0 0.42, 0 0.41, 0 0.38, 0 0.42, 0 0.43. Those are good. I was going to drop my rods back off at my engine builder and have him just check them and make sure, but I realized that these pistons that he did were freaking perfect as well the old ones uh, as you saw so I called him up and he sent me my balance sheets and he had the balancing for the rods and they're all within half a gram so I'm not gonna mess with them so now I just have a neutral crank I have neutral rods very neutral pistons I mean like I said within half a gram is uh, machine is standard and I'm into the hundredths we'll be using one of the 22 millimeter slap shops or uh, wrist pin clip inserters. I'll show you how these work. These are a lifesaver, man, because taking out those spring clips sucks, but it's not the end of the world. It's pretty quick. Putting them in can take hours if you don't have one of those. Let's go ahead and throw all these together. I got this seed clip tucked away in here, if y'all can see that. The only problem is it's lined up with that hole. We really want these openings here, the opening on these C-clips, to either be at the bottom or the top. We don't really want them near that hole.
Intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust. Quick wash. Much better. Yeah, I like to get that edge. Got my blown piston with the bottom ring in it. Acts perfectly to square that piston ring off in there. Now that looks like it's a 0.018. Looks like we made a little bit of progress. Yep, 0.018, keep cutting. All that turning, and we essentially made it 1,000th. So we'll point these up, and we'll go right here. And we'll go ahead and set this upper ring. Right, upper ring is on. Now we'll spin this around. Put the lower one. Okay, stretch it around. Let it work its way down. Make sure the edge of these rings, all the rings, especially the big, the top and the, the top ring is really strong, but the middle ring will do it because it's kind of got to get it pretty far. And score the side of the piston on the way down. Kind of lift them off and work them down. This is the strongest part of the skirt, so this is where you want. So, like the lower one is here, so that means my oil control ring will be, or my scraper ring will be here, and then my upper ring will match with the upper one here on the strongest part of the piston. Start in the upper and then I work this one all the way to the lower. And then around and pop the Ends facing up. Upper. And with the lower. So those are all done. It's time to clean out one last time, and then we will drop each of those pistons and dry. No assembly loop on the crank. We'll do a quick plastic gauge to make sure the mains, or the journals look good. And if everything checks out, we will throw it all together today. I mean it when I say we're cleaning out anywhere we can. I could really use an upgrade. We get to use him soon. I'm super excited. Oh, I'm gonna do some stainless work too, not just this aluminum. I'm just, I, mean, I, love, I love aluminum, but stainless is so colorful and fun. This is a pain in the ass. Did I say that? Go ahead and get our bearings out here. Oh, let's hope they're in good condition. I got a pack of bearings recently that was just everywhere. Let's go ahead and plastic gauge and check the bearings on these bearings. Strip out. Get yourself a little bit of this plastic. We'll show you for the next ones. Just had to fight with it for a sec and figure it out with these. Line it up, set it really deeply in this instead of like get it, get your first ring right at the edge, your secondary ring, and that's what helps with jam it down there. Place it right on the cap. You do this without any lubrication. It's the only way to really tell. So we'll set this bearing in here. You put it in the tooth. Otherwise we would, you know, be moving these before we put them in. So line that up. Press from the other side until they're equal. And normally 
way you actually are supposed to put some on this top wedge right there as well. All right, let's torque those to stack real quick. ARP rod bolt can be torqued and broken as many times as you want. 40, 38 or whatever, 36 foot pounds will never stretch or damage these. The same with these main bolts, OEM oh yeah, main bolts. Now look at the plastic dip on crank journal itself. That is what you measure. Yep, 0.038, see that? 0.038 to 0 0.05. Uh, we came at millimeters, of course, or a 0.0015 or a 0.015, where would that be? Right there. That's good. We're gonna go ahead and power through and check the rest, I, right? I would assume, as we put them in. Press this down a little bit, right here, so that we can lean it forward. And go all the way, of course. There, so we can grease it. That line, that line's so good. Cool. That one. Don't worry, so. There it is. Just give it a little side to side twist by pressing from the bottom. So that is number one, bearings, measured, and then greased, and then torqued. Triple check, you know? Right. We gotta wait on number six until we can turn these and attach them. I don't wanna be moving it around. So this is as far as we made it. So we'll connect one at a time with the plasti gauge and then we'll come back to six once we can. number six and I'll flip this over just last clean right and then soak it ready nope let's pull it up real quick and try and line it up just a hair better oh the rod wasn't perfectly centered that was why Lined right up. Cool. You want to see it turn over? 
Looks nice, man. Everything is on. Nice. That looks wonderful. All right. It was a good day. We got everything done we needed to on this. Gustavo helped like crazy. Uh, did a bunch of filming with me and did a bunch of assembly stuffing. We have a bottom end assembled. Uh, it won't take me long to throw the head on over there tomorrow morning. And then I'll throw all the cams back in it and we'll get it timed. I'll then lash the assembly or check the lash on the valves and see if I need to adjust them before I throw it all back together for good, of course. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for now. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna go home. Just so, uh,